Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today is lesson six in the Honeywell 6290W or the Brasidio 6290 keypad. Today we're gonna to go over the three little dots on the right hand side. So I'm gonna hit the three little dots over here. This is gonna take us to three different sections to get to. I'm gonna go over the fast and easiest one first. That's the show zones. When you click on the show zones, it's basically gonna show us anything that's open or we have a problem with it. So if we've got a problem with the console or something like that, or let's say we got a zone open, this will let you get in and figure out uh, once this is programmed, if your installer does it right, it shouldn't say zone five, it should say like master bedroom or kitchen or dining room. If for some reason you know for a fact that's supposed to be open, let's say that's a, that's a master bedroom window. When you click on that, you can hit bypass. It's gonna ask you for your code. You can punch in your code and basically that will take that zone out of there. So we hit show zones again. And that zone's not going to be in there anymore because it's bypassed. It's got a little tiny icon up there that changes. And that way you can actually leave the bedroom window open all night long and arm and disarm the system. Once you arm the system and disarm the system, it goes right back into trouble again. So you have to bypass that zone every time you want to do it. So if there's a problem with your sensor, or it's defective, or you need someone to look at it, you can bypass it until your installer can get there. All right, so the next thing in here is the event log. So we're going to click on the event log. This is basically going to not help you at all. This will help your installer out. So if you're having a problem with your system, the installer may ask you or the service company may ask you to pull up this event log and they're going to ask you for these letters and numbers over here. They can tell by the letters and the numbers what happened to the system. Again, not going to help you out much, but that's what it's there for. Console mode. When you click on the console mode, this is going to take you back to an old school keypad. So it's going to look basically like an old 62 or 6160, 6150, 6148. And this is going to let you punch in the numbers like you used to. So if you used to hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 for off, or if you had the buttons on the side like stay away, you can hit those buttons from over here. For the most part, as a user, you don't need into that because you can change your time, change your date, add the codes, add the users, change the master codes, all from that other menu. Um, so you really don't need to get into that at all. But if for some reason, someone would ask you to get into there to make changes. Uh, if you're an installer, this is a good way to program your system. That way you don't have to actually uh, grab a 6160 keypad out or something like that. You can go in here and program through that also. Back out of here. Back out of here. And that's it. So, uh, everyone, please click on like and subscribe if that helps you out. Uh, make sure you keep an eye on the playlist. Keep an eye on the channel. Uh, the next lesson will be out soon.